Tonight, we want to tell you about a 10-year-old boy facing criminal charges for assault and battery. That's right, he's 10 years old. It's a case that has many folks in Edmond asking the question, is this justice or a waste of time? News Channel 4's Ali Meyer has the story. Squabbles on the sidelines are certainly nothing new. For years, parents have called them teaching moments or boys will be boys. But here in Edmond, it appears the city attorney's office is taking a fight among 10-year-olds to a whole new level. Vincent Marcaselli is paying bond for his fifth grader. His son is facing a misdemeanor charge in Edmond Municipal Court for assault and battery. So did the fight ever occur? I mean, he came up and just sucker punched him. Last month, after football practice, two 10-year-olds got into a scuffle. One of them threw a punch. According to the Edmond Police Report, eyewitnesses say the punch was unprovoked, but the alleged puncher says he was standing up for himself after months of bullying. No weapons, no guns, no knives, you know, just a fist, like, you know, when we were in grade school, it happens. A conviction on the assault and battery charge carries up to 60 days in the county jail and a fine of 500 bucks. Pretty steep for a fifth grader. Well, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Now, for the first time, I have the honor and the privilege to represent a 10-year-old, a fifth grader, here in Edmond. We are going to protect the boy's identity. All matters involving juveniles in Edmond Municipal Court are kept confidential. The Edmond Police Department tried to do the right thing and tried to let the parents handle it as it should have been. But I guess the city attorney doesn't believe that a, uh, that a parent in the, here in Edmond can take care of their own kids. Marcus Ellie tells us he has always taught his son to stand up to bullies. He believes his son... The defendant was sticking up for himself after the so-called victim called him a punk. Well, you finally get a good kid who stands up against the bully, and well, once again, they they want to they want to put him in jail. I guess the case will go to trial in November. Allie Meyer. It's crazy. News Channel 4 HD. Well, we called the Edmond City Attorney's Office to ask some questions about why they filed the charge against the 10-year-old. The Edmond City Attorney, Steve Murdoch, tells us, as you heard, he cannot comment because all juvenile matters are confidential.